Hey there, time for another Squint 180. And uh, today, I'm, uh, it's Memorial Day. And so, what I wanted to do is, I wanna talk about memories. I wanna talk about maybe what the Bible says about it. In Hebrews 12, there's a passage of scripture that says, uh, talks about remembering those who have gone on before us, whereof we are sur surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Um, and, and the cloud of witnesses in the scripture are these people of faith that are mentioned in Hebrews 11. And uh, the idea in the passage of uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, or verse 1, uh, is the idea of remembering those uh, people of faith. And it's not so much that these people are a cloud of witnesses. It's not so much that they're in heaven looking down at us, that could be, but it's that we're looking at them and their accomplishments and how they lived the life of faith to stir our faith on. And so today, Memorial Day, May 27th, 2019, I'm here in the Ravenna Cemetery. This is where a lot of my family are buried. My family came over from Canada into West Michigan in the mid 1800s and has dwelt here, uh, moved obviously from the Ravenna area to different places in West Michigan. But this is where we started. Um, Moreland Township and so I'm in the cemetery and I'm just gonna pan my camera here and talk uh, over here is uh, my great-grandfather George Abbott he lived from 1853 to 1881 he died of typhoid fever at the age of 28 here is my grandfather Aaron James Abbott of course I never knew him if you look at the stone you'll see that he uh, was born in 1875, he died in 1925. Uh, so he was long gone before I even came out. Uh, Aaron is George's son. The fact that George died in 1881, Aaron was only six when his dad died, that means that, his, that Aaron's grandfather raised him, and we'll talk about him in a few moments. Uh, over here is my dad. And my dad is here. <clears throat> Someday my mom will be next to him. And uh, my dad was a veteran. Got a lot of great memories about my dad. My dad instilled faith in me. Led an example of an exemplary Christian life. Uh, helped create or uh, started Grace Bible Church in Nuevo. And uh, gave me great seeds of faith. My dad's favorite book of the Bible was Ecclesiastes. All right. And then over here is a daughter that Michelle and I had. She was born still. That means upon her birth, she died. Complications, um, just happens. Uh, so her name is Tamara Lynn, and uh, she was born and passed away October 5th, 1979. So um, we're here uh, paying memory and uh, to them, thinking about them and thinking about their life, of uh, how they lived. So uh, we always pay our respects. We always come here each year <coughs> to think about what they've done for us, uh, in Tammy's case, of course, uh, we just remember, we, we look forward to maybe seeing her again in heaven someday. We think about maybe about the young woman that she would be today. She would be about 40 years old. So, um, and so I'm just going to come down here now. Uh, there's a second part to this Ravenna Cemetery where um, some other abbots are. And the, uh, my great-great-grandfather, Aaron Abbott, he was the one that came over from Canada and brought our family here. And so I'm just going to sh show you uh, that uh, as I walk through the uh, cemetery, a really well-kept cemetery. And I know not, not all of you and not everybody's into uh, paying respects at cemeteries, but I think it's a thing to do. We certainly understand that many of them are no longer here. Many are in heaven. Um, and so, uh, but the memory, the idea of respecting is, is still there. And so, um, just coming over here, uh, got some other family members here with me today, but I'll just show you, this is my great-great-grandfather, uh, uh, Aaron Abbott, and he was born in Point Pelee, Ontario, Canada, son of William Abbott, and he died here in Muskegon County. He was 90 years old when he died, and so uh, we remember him, and of course his wife and one of his sons is right there, Elizabeth and son Edwin. And so today I am just uh, paying my respects with my family, some of my family members here, and we're just honoring them by our memories and our love and our appreciation of what they've done. And I believe that that's proper and biblical. I believe that honors God when we do that. When we think about people 
who are examples to us, and we salute that, we respect that, and we honor that. So, I hope that you have a chance to get out and enjoy the great weather uh, today, and uh, have a terrific week, and we'll be in touch with you in the next week or so. Take care.